Sandwich, sandwich, I'm in love with you. You've got lettuce and tomatoes too. Thank you. Mayonnaise and cheese, you're the one for me. Okay, I'm going to talk about the sandwich. Today, my talk's ultimate goal is to make you really, really hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. Yes, you didn't have too much sandwich? Okay, good. Okay, um, but this sandwich is not made of bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich, of course. This is bilingual language teaching, uh, food for soul and your mind. Um, let me talk you about, tell you about my little journey um, to get to this sandwich. This is the snapshot of um, uh, English class in Japan. We don't, yeah, English class. We don't really communicate. Yeah, it's English class, but we don't really communicate. And we do translation from Japanese, uh, English into Japanese or something like that. And uh, it didn't really work for me because I was born to talk. So I decided to get out of this country for a while and uh, try to find my place to learn a little bit better. And I found out um, in Seattle, it was an ESL class. It was a whole new world. It's a multicultural society and uh, people from all over the world. And teacher asked us questions. What do you think? Why do you think? So it's like encouraged to talk. Wow, can I talk? So then I wanted to be a language teacher after educated in, in Seattle. Then, back in 1999, as my daughter was born, and I opened up my own space, a uh, learning space for uh, local kids, including my daughter. It's called Sunnyfield English. And we, we dance and sing and then do the all kinds of fun stuff. But the essential part of my class is storytelling. Why story? Because books are like fried papers. Memories cling to the printed page better than anything else. Do you think? Do you remember the stories from your childhood? Yeah, but there was one little problem. That is the gap between what they can understand, what they can read, and what they want to read. Then I told myself, why don't you use Japanese? Why do you stick with only English policies? And so then I come up with this idea, BLT sandwich. <laughs> and uh, it was based on a uh, German scholar called Datsun back in uh, 1970. He used that uh, sandwich method, uh, writing our method. Um, but this is how it works. Okay, and um, I make the BLT sandwich. BLT sandwich is basically sandwich, the uh, brief translation of Japanese, of the literature to tell a story. And then give it to uh, your young learners, and they enjoy the taste, and they got a the moment. And what happened is they want to have some more. So here's a recipe. This is a recipe. Number one, prepare 100% organic ingredients. Prepare this English lines. Add layer of Japanese. Mix in laughter. Stare with motivation. Sprinkle a pinch of self-efficacy and serve with relish. Da da. This is reality sandwich. Okay. Then what happens is more laughing, smiling, and talking, and negotiating, communicating, and the learning happens in front of you. Wow. And people just enjoy. The kids just enjoy. Um, so why don't we blend the two languages into language learning? In Japan, we blend things, integrated things, old into all the Japanese culture, like a matcha ice cream or um, pasta japonese or those uh, rice burger. 
So why don't we use this wisdom into language learning? To stimulate the appetite for learning, sharing, and communicating. Now, I hope you're hungry enough to try out your own BLT sandwich. Thank you. Sandwich, sandwich.